Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time to talk about some disappointing products. I don't do these videos very often because I, I don't know, everyone has such different preferences, but for me, these were all products that I thought I absolutely cannot stand to these products. And, um, you know, that is helpful. Keep in mind, everyone has vastly different preferences body chemistry, expectations, face shapes, hair types, whatever. So, you know, if you love these products, more power to you. That's great. I don't love them. So we have, I think it's almost all drugstore stuff too, except for one hair thing. So let's go ahead and talk about some disappointing products. Let's talk about the hair thing first because it's sitting right here. These are the professional, oh, Sebastian, professional Volupt volume boosting shampoo and conditioner. They smell divine and I had very high hopes for them because my biggest complaint of life is I want giant voluminous hair and my hair is very fine and it doesn't do that. So I was really excited to try these and I can't pinpoint what I didn't like about these but I know that every time I used this shampoo I absolutely hated how my hair looked. I don't know if it felt frizzy or just flat. It certainly didn't do anything for volume or if it felt like there was buildup on my hair and I can't, I can't pinpoint it. But after a while I realized every time I thought, man, I absolutely hate my hair today. I was using this shampoo and conditioner. They're still very full. So I'm going to give them to, um, one of my friends, but to see if they want to try them. But I just was really disappointed in these and they weren't cheap. So that was even more disappointing. I know I bought them on some sort of sale or promotion, but still, what if I hadn't? That would have been horrible. Okay, so the rest of the stuff is all drugstore. I wanna start off by saying I'm not intentionally crapping on Wet n Wild because I don't purchase Wet n Wild anymore. These were all in my basket, except for one thing. They were all in my disappointing products basket because I do have a little area in one of my drawers that I try to remember to put stuff if it really really is horrible they were all in there before i stopped purchasing wet n wild these two palettes they're color icon eyeshadow quads in house of thorns and secret garden rendezvous i was so disappointed in these okay first of all look at these colors like can you imagine a more beautiful color scheme oh wait yeah you can look at that green it's amazing except these colors they weren't very pigmented and they would blend away now i would put the shadow on my brush start blending it and it would just and it would look like i had done nothing it would just blend away so i was very disappointed in both of these and i don't even know if i want to give these to anyone because there's no color payoff they wouldn't build they would just Anything I did to blend would just blend the color away and any color that was there it looked very muddy It was just very strange and I know Wet n Wild makes nice eyeshadows because I've used them in the past So this was just very confusing to me. I was just really disappointed in these guys This was released in the same collection and I should have known that this was going to be disappointing based on its design uh, This is the rose brush. It's stinking cute Look at how cute it is. It's shaped like a freaking rose Except this is too high. If this if this rose part had been lower at the stem, I think it would have functioned a lot better. But as it was, you just I just kept hitting myself in the eye with this. Even using it straight on, I just kept whacking myself in the eye with this. So that was a disappointment for sure. But look at how cute the brush is. Oh, it's so cute. The last Wet n Wild thing I did uh, use a lot and try to make it work. And I like the color, but this is just such a dry concealer. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and I there's no color. Oh, Fair Neutral. I actually love the color. It looks ghostly white, <laughs> but when I was using it, maybe it was in the spring, so I was ghostly white. The color actually matched really well, but it looked so dry on my skin. It doesn't look dry, It's it applies like a creamy concealer, but the second it touches your skin, if you do have any dry skin or dry patches, do not. 
do not put this anywhere near it. It is going to cling to those and look extra, extra dry. And I was not a fan of that. It also smells like paint a little bit like their foundation does. That's not the issue. That doesn't really bother me. But if you don't like the smell of paint, you probably won't like this. But seriously, if you have dry skin, don't. Don't. Because I have oily skin and it still looks dry on me. Okay, a couple things. We have the LA Girl Wanderlust eyeshadow palette. This is in the... This is in Wanderlust. These are, I think, $10. So they're not cheap, but they're not that expensive. They have a nice mirror. There's a lot of fun colors. These are not pigmented at all. I love the LA Girl, the Hot Hot Heat palettes, and the... Oh, what are they called? I actually just ordered the new the two new palettes from their Hot Hot Heat line. I can't remember what they're called. Um, and I love those. Those are very pigmented. The shadows are really creamy and buttery. The shimmery shades are awesome. This is not that. They swatch okay as you use them with a brush. They look really patchy, especially this blue. And I know dark, darker blues and purples especially are very tricky to formulate, but this just was not it for me. And I was really disappointed in this. They do swatch pretty well, but they, they just look very patchy and I was not a fan. It was a disappointment. Okay, one more eye thing and then we're done with eye things. This is from e.l.f. This is their Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Cool Steel. <laughs> okay, like the most beautiful color ever. Lavender Steel. This is Patch City. I tried this without a primer. I tried this with a primer. The primer that I always use for any liquid eyeshadow or eyeshadow. I always use the same primers. And this is... Uh, something that blends away to nothing. It blends away and it's patchy and no, no, no. No, 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 no. It doesn't build up. Anytime I try to build it up, it looks chunky and then you blend it away, but then you've just blended away everything you have reapplied. It was very frustrating. I think I tried to do one eye and it wasn't working and I was like, nope, you're, just, you're done. I'm done with you don't have time for you. No, thank you, sir. This isn't really a formula issue. This is more of a color issue, which is sort of on me, but this is one that I was really looking forward to using from Catrice, their blush box. It says it's water and sweat proof. This is in the shade Glistening Pink, and it looks like a beautiful pink shade, and you can see that there's a little bit of sheen in it, but on my cheeks, the pink disappears, and you only see the gold sheen in here, so it looks like I've just put on a straight gold blush. I don't know what happened there, <laughs> but it does not look good. It looks like I put just gold shimmer on my cheeks for blush. That does not look cute. Lastly, we have one lip product. This is from CoverGirl. This is the Outlast All Day 24 Hour Lip Color in Canyon. This beautiful terracotta color. It comes with the like balm and then the lip color. No. No. This is not good at all. It does not last for 24 hours. It leaves an incredibly noticeable line on the inside of your lips. Even applying the balm, it's very dry, very, it just makes your lips feel disgusting. And I, I, I no. I had really high hopes for that. That was a huge disappointment. I love the color, it's so beautiful, but those are my disappointing products as of late, or like quite a while because I haven't done one of these in a very long time. <laughs> what are some of your product fails lately? Let me know. Do you like any of these? Am I just doing them wrong? It's possible. Let me know. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video.